So when you come out of a relationship, don't jump into the next relationship. You do need time to heal and to process what has happened. Rebound relationships. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about rebound relationships. Um, so before we get into this video, um, please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you have something you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave that down in the comments. Or if you have any tips, any stories yourself that may benefit other people so we can all help each other out. Thank you so much. So rebound relationships and rebound relationships rarely work out. And basically I'm going to go into, um, why this is. So the first point that I wanna make is high emotions. So whether or not you're dating someone who has just come out of a relationship or you are the person who has just come out of a relationship um, or even maybe both of you have just come out of a relationship and um, there are gonna be high emotions. Um, and because of this, it will create a lot of passion, um, but it also can create, because there's a lot of high emotions, a quite a toxic atmosphere and some bad vibes. Um, you two might be overly needy towards each other. Um, just basically just too much, too too much emotion basically. And when there's high emotions um, in this these kind of passionate love affairs, it can end up um, causing a lot of mistakes and you could end up making a lot of mistakes. And you could actually end up really, really regretting getting into this rebound relationship. So just be aware if you ever do enter a, a, a rebound relationship, the emotions will be very high. <laughs> um, so let's go into my next point and that is um, exes coming back. So this is something that I've seen actually with a few people that I've coached. Um, they've gone on a date with someone and then all of a sudden this person is no longer interested because an ex has come back. And a lot of people kind of get confused as to why that person goes back to the old person, basically. Why this person goes back to their ex. Um, when perhaps you might even be, and they were actually a way better match for them and a way better person for them. And it's all about to do with the emotional investment. So obviously, if you start dating someone and they've only just came out of a relationship and their ex is still kind of hanging about in the picture, that new person that you're dating is still gonna have more of an emotional attachment to the ex because they might have spent years or months with that ex and they've only been on a couple of dates with you. So obviously their investment in the ex is gonna be a lot more. And um, if you've got a high emotional investment in someone, it's much harder to, to, get, to get away from them, especially if they're still orbiting around them and still in the picture. So this is something that happens quite a lot and something that I've seen with people that I've coached. They start dating someone and then all of a sudden that person is no longer interested because their ex wants them back or something. So that's something to keep in mind if you do enter a rebound relationship. Sometimes the exes are still in the picture. Um, so you need to be wary of basically of um, the fact that they might not be emotionally ready to actually have a proper relationship with you. So how can you avoid having a rebound relationship? Because again, rebound relationships rarely work out. So basically it's all to do with healing. It's all to do with um, being able to get over that relationship that they've just came out of or that you've just come out of. So when you come out of a relationship, don't jump into the next relationship. You do need time to heal and to process what has happened. And the reason why that is, is because um, we sometimes bring old baggage from our old relationship into the new relationship. So let's say you got cheated on in your past relationship. If you go straight into a new relationship and you haven't had time to heal, you're probably going to um, not trust this new person as much as well, because you're still reeling from the fact that you couldn't trust your old partner. So sometimes going straight into a rebound relationship, you can bring all of these toxic things from your past relationship into your new relationship and therefore ruin the chances that you have with this new person that you're seeing. So it's a good um, thing to do. So it kind of depends on how long you've been with your ex um, before you get into this new rebound relationship. So obviously if you've only been dating for like a few months and then you go into a rebound relationship, it probably won't matter as much as someone who's been with someone for a year or a couple of years or like over six months basically. So if you've been with someone for over six months or the new person that you're dating has been with someone for over six months and they're now with you, 
They need time to heal. You need time to heal. The good amount of time to have to heal, I personally think, is, especially if it was a long-term relationship, is about six months to a year before you start dating someone else. Especially, again, if this was a long-term relationship, someone who you was with for six months to a year or over that amount of time. Um, because you need to get out of that old habits that you got when you was with that relationship, those old thought patterns. You need to fully process the relationship, fully heal from it, learn from it because you probably made some mistakes. Um, you've probably learned some things about yourself because often that's what happens when we're in relationships. We learn a lot about ourselves. So you learn from these mistakes and then you get better. Um, you, under, you learn the lessons um, and when you've fully done that, then you can get into a new relationship. Um, when you've basically, your emotions have settled down. Because if you still have high emotions about your ex, if you're still upset about it, if you're still angry about it, whatever, then you need to get over that and you need to have your emotions be settled down um, and before you get into that new relationship. So as long as your emotions are no longer raw, as long as your emotions are no longer high, um, and you're still experiencing basically the loss of that past relationship, then it should be fine for you to move into a new one and to start dating new people. I highly recommend that you go and watch this video on how to attract the right partner into your life so you know that you're finding the right person because again when we come out of relationships sometimes we date new people just to spite our exes. That's something that I personally did um, and I'm sure it's an experience of other people as well. So please go and watch that video because you don't want to end up dating the wrong person just to get back at your ex. But essentially in that video I talk about the importance of finding someone who has um, the same kind of lifestyle as you, who wants the same things in life as you. Because if you are with someone who doesn't want the same things in life as you, so that the big one is that say like having children. So let's say you don't want to have children and you start dating someone who does want to have children. Um, then obviously that's a complete mismatch and you shouldn't pursue that person any longer because um, obviously having children and or not having children is a huge life decision and you can't make, make someone want the same things as you, especially if it's something that they truly, truly do want um, or don't want. So um, that's a huge one. These are the, you need to figure out what the deal breakers are for you. So perhaps you don't want to have children. Perhaps you don't like having any animals. Perhaps you have like, uh, you're allergic to like um, animals or something. So if that's the case, um, then you need to get clear basically on what you do want in a relationship and those deal breakers. So, and once you become clear on that, then it's gonna be much easier for you when you go into the dating world again and you start discovering new people and meeting up with new people and trying to find the right person for you. Because I think a lot of people, when they go into a relationship, they're focused on how this person makes them feel and how this person looks, but they're not necessarily thinking about whether or not this person is the right one. Because what tends to happen is people let their emotions rule their head um, when these passionate love affairs begin and they just go off of their emotions instead of using their logic and reason in to try and figure out whether or not this is actually the right person. So make sure that you do that before you enter a new relationship. Don't go in because of the emotions or the high attraction. Go in because yes, you're probably really attracted to this person, but they're also the right person for you. They also want the same things in life as you. They also um, like the same things as you and have the same kind of lifestyle. Anyway, that's my video on rebound relationships. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you again very soon. Goodbye guys.